You are I would not have so messed with that guy. You're gonna be the last guy. man standing. We are. Well, my friends used to call me Jesus. Welcome to Woodbury. I'm fit as a damn fiddle. The kingdom fiddle. is favored by your presence I'm once more. Kill you. Just look at the flowers. I'm a kid. I'm alpha. Your tits are a jolly green giant. What did you do? Who are you now? Appreciate it, pal. You were standing there. You can keep him safe. I'm not your governor. Oh, Preggers? You got a preg on? shit sometimes. Yeah. This is my show. Yeah. You said it. The only thing you can choose is what you risk for. For the walking dead. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So finally, The Walking Dead is back. The final season, season 11 premiere, Acheron Part 1, is releasing tonight on AMC+. It is currently August 15th, and we're about to watch the premiere with my family. So we're going to be getting to the reaction really soon here. Just real quick, my thoughts going into the episode. I haven't read any spoilers. I've just been dodging them left and right. Um, if you watch my reaction to the Comic-Con trailer, I absolutely loved it. I thought it looked amazing. The whole Reaper storyline, it looks so good. It's like something out of a horror movie. I think they're going to be great. Commonwealth, I've already worded how excited I am to get into that arc. Uh, and I'm glad that they're changing it up from the comics. But um, as for this episode, the only thing that I know about it is early reviewers obviously saying that it's great. But also they've said that if you like Negan, you're going to love him. But if you hate Negan, you're going to hate him even more. So that tells me there's going to be a lot of the Negan-Maggie tension really fleshed out in this episode. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. But yeah, I'm sure this one's going to be a banger. We got 24 episodes left of the show ever. It's ending, so... I'm confident that they're all gonna be bangers. So yeah, I'm so yeah, I'm super excited to watch it. I can't wait. Every episode's gonna be good. It's so surreal that it's back already. Like it's August and we're getting new episodes of Walking Dead. Like we're used to it happening in October. But yeah, um, let's get into it. I'm excited to watch the show. It's been a long time coming because I can't remember when we saw the four standalone episodes. That was oh, there were six. February to April. Yeah, so that's March, eight, I mean, May, June, July, like a good four months. And those were just standalone episodes, so it's been even longer. All I know is a little teaser of if you like Negan, you're going to like him more. If you don't like him, you're going to like him less. That's all I know. So my prediction is I'm going to like him more. Because I hate to admit it in public. The family knows, but I'm a Negan fan. Yeah, so, most people are. I think I'm going to like this episode. Uh, I'm ready to watch The Walking Dead. It's sad that this is going to be the last season of the show. Uh, I know there's other shows that will probably be going on after this, but it's not the same. Um, I'm ready to see Daryl and Nian, and yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I, I'm going to savor every moment, every episode, of even, even if there's a slow episode. Here and there, maybe I'm still gonna save her. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Hello. Oh my gosh! Hang on, that is very bright. It's my angelic aura. Yes. Okay. It is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this because I used to hate Negan. Oh, he was a mean, bad mf'er. But then I grew to like him after his origin with his wife yeah so he's just a really interesting character so i can't wait to get more okay and of course the zombies yeah so yeah looking forward to it okay <laughs> Like something from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, 
gosh, she's going to be stuck back there. Yeah, I think all these walkers have just been like dead for so long that they're just kind of morbid. The best thing you could do is not be a barrel. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, th this is all the opening minutes. They haven't even played the title card yet. have Daryl get bit and have his arm chopped off so that wow. he's like so that he's like Rick in the in the finale of the comics. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Don't be an asshole. He keeps on he keeps on eyeballing. He is being an asshole on purpose. Yeah and they're huh. probably starving We just took in two new no communities. We have no so crops. The place I lived before this. Where we lived. Meridian. I thought she meant the farm. It's got plenty of food. No, that's water a thousand miles homes. away. This is the first time I've ever seen her wear a hat. I don't think we've ever seen her with a hat on before. Who said you don't get a vote? I don't know. Uh, just, I think someone, some side character. Buddies or something? He's probably right. It's not just Maggie that no one likes Ian. Yeah. So it's not all her. Trying to watch it. Keep moving. He's alive. It doesn't sound like he's alive. Yeah. It sounds like he's just trying to be safe. Oh yes. Finally. Oh, that's, that's Mercer. Mercer. So to Alexandra, who's starving, Commonwealth's gonna seem very appealing. That's run by bad people. What was your zip code? How could anyone possibly be expected to remember that? From 
Yeah. It wasn't as uh, edge of the seat. Yeah. Non-stop. But it's a two-parter. Suspense. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks that we're not getting it back to back. I, I'm excited to get into the whole Reaper thing. I think that's going to be really good. Well, there were several times where I was like, yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, what's gonna happen? I was just happy to see all the Commonwealth stuff. That's exciting for me. And I thought Eugene was hilarious. Eugene was funny, but I yeah, I want all the main characters to be in the Commonwealth to care more about it. Well, the reason why they're doing this whole Reaper storyline is because the Commonwealth story isn't really all that interesting. There's not a whole lot to it, so they added they're adding this other stuff to make it interesting. The Commonwealth, for at least in the comics, pretty much amounts to they get there, they don't like them. Rick talks to their leader, and like not, there's no fights or anything. They just kind of yeah. get there and talk, and then it's not very interesting. Yeah. So they're changing it up and adding this other stuff, like them and searching yeah. for supplies. But yeah, I I really liked it. I'm just ready for more. Well, my notes. Whole knee and Maggie stuff's good. I think the opening was awesome. Because there was no speaking, yeah. and it all just being quiet and watching their movements and weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, I thought the opening was really awesome because it was kind of different. Since there were no, no speaking, no words, I thought they did a good job. Then I like Princess. I think she's funny, and I think she's really a lot smarter than people give her credit for. Yeah. Um, I think the Commonwealth, I, what you just said, I wrote Commonwealth. Is it a little boring? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not my favorite part of the, of the whole episode. Yeah. And then last but not least, Negan, at the beginning, when you before the show started, I said I was probably going to be Team Negan. and I am Team Negan, but I was going to be probably okay with whatever he does. Wrong. I'm not okay with that. I well, still... He's right about her oh, going yeah. dunk well, into the, the cave. The yeah. So what he and said about Glenn, that, and then what he did at the very end. Yeah, yes, okay. those were wrong. Why did he bring up Glenn? That's a big no-no. He just did a lot of stupid things. And then the the worst thing was not giving. And him the, also the way he was just being Negan about it, the way he was talking, yeah. made him like seem like an asshole. But, <laughs> he's a dick, but he's right. <laughs> But the worst thing was not giving Maggie his hand. Yeah. Like I can't. I'm, I wrote. Negan, okay, I said it has to be a trick, like there has to be more to it, but yeah. then we watch the scenes for next week, and yeah. it doesn't look like it's a trick. So I wrote it has yeah, to be a trick, know. but they're not making it look like a trick. It, it makes it look like next week's is they're asking, where's Maggie? And, and I forget what he said, but... He said I, I did. She was right behind me. Bad. Yeah. Or yeah, she was right behind yeah. me. Um, so I wrote, I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I don't I'm know whether mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Anything else? So no, those were my notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right for the next one. I think it's cool that it's like a two-parter. It reminds me of something from Lost. Yeah. That's why there was a, a clear cliffhanger because it's. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like a lot right now, but the weeks are gonna roll by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we're getting eight, eight of these, and then. In the spring, and a winter break, and the spring is eight more. They're marketing it as a trilogy, and then I would guess then August of 2022 will be the final eight. But yeah, it's really cool. I'm just it's so different from the comics, so I don't know what to say. But I'm just mm -hmm. excited for it. It's it's really exciting. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. That was our reaction to the Walking Dead final season premiere, Acheron Part One. I was very tired in this video because I just got back from work, but trust me, my enthusiasm is inside. I am super pumped for the rest of the episodes to come, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see more, make sure you're a subscriber. I would really, really appreciate it because we're going to be making videos for all 24 episodes of the final season. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and looking forward to more Walking Dead content. His family.